this video is about the sail and centreboard balance. Let's assume the wind is blowing from the top of the screen to the bottom. Let's also position our boat at 45 degrees to the wind. The wind hits the sail at the front luff, the rear leech and all the way in between. We will look at how the wind moves around the sail in another video. These individual wind forces can be averaged together and be shown as one force shown here as the green arrow. Looking at the boat from the port side, we can see that the average of the wind forces on the sail can be represented as the, as the red dot. These forces on the sail would push the boat downwind. To counteract this, the centreboard applies a force on the water opposing the force on the sail. This counteracting force is shown as the red dot on the centreboard. Assuming the two opposing forces are balanced, the boat will be stationary. If, however, the forces are misaligned, caused by the mast slapping forward, the boat will rotate as shown. Or the boat will turn up into the wind if the mast is slapping backwards, as shown here. The ideal mast rake is for the force to cause the boat to head up slightly. This can be tested by sailing the boat close to the wind and lightly holding the tiller with just two fingers. You should feel just a slight pressure on the tiller arm trying to turn the boat into the wind. While doing the test, the boat must be flat to prevent the hull shape turning the boat. Adjust the mast rake to get this tiller pressure correct. Have fun sailing. Thank you.